Uh, you said two things which I think need to be explored. One is that you created this alter ego, Goggins, mm -hmm. which I think is insanely powerful and it reminds me of Eminem talked about the same thing with creating Slim Shady, was it was the way, he, once he had the persona, he could face his fears and he could get up. Um, and then the other thing was, you said you need to shut the fuck up and listen. Mm -hmm. But talking about just to yourself, like not to try to get a distraction, not social media, not TV, nothing. Like go in a room by yourself and really listen. How do those two things, the, the creation of the alter ego and that listening to the, the sort of dark, hateful things that you're probably saying to yourself, how do those work together? So a lot of people can live with themselves. That's the first thing. A lot of people can live with themselves, look in the mirror and say, I'm okay with being afraid. I'm okay with going on this easy highway over here. The easy highway has all these fucking signs and shit, directions, how to get somewhere. And you have to first be uncomfortable with how you feel about yourself. With that voice that a lot of us like to run away from, we all have it. We all have that voice that say, hey man, you know, you're, you're kind of wimping out right now. You're kind of being a little punk right now. But a lot of us say, okay, that's okay. It's okay to tell these little white lies to ourselves. So we first have to face the real you. The real me is David Goggins. The real me is a guy looking at you right now saying, I don't want to fucking be on this show right now because I used to stutter as a kid. And I'm afraid of that. I'm afraid that here in a second, I'm going to start fucking stammering and stuttering. And the whole world is going to know that I have all these issues. But that's when I see right now, okay, Goggins, you got to go on this fucking show. That's Goggins. Goggins is saying, okay, David Goggins, you're a punk. Life made you this way. We can't live like this. We can't live in fear. We can't live in judgment. We can't be afraid of what the fuck people right now are looking at me saying about me. We cannot be afraid of that. That's Goggins. Goggins saying, fuck all of you who don't like me, who don't want to. And that person then comes in. But you have to be David Goggins and say, man, I'm afraid of this. I'm fucked up here. Life made me this way here. I stutter. I, I have these issues with, with, with uh, reading and writing and and I'm, I'm, I'm fat and I'm insecure. You have to face that in that dark room. In that dark room is who you are. But in that dark room is where you have to create another human being that walks out of that dark room to face who you are. That's the only way you're gonna get over all those things. You have to create someone else. Not like you have two different personalities, it is you. But you have to find strength. And that visualization of almost me cracking out Goggins, like almost like that Superman cape, like, like, like I'm coming out a different person, a person that doesn't give a fuck about anything, who doesn't care about being judged, who knows I'm weak, who knows I'm afraid, who says, whatever you think about me, take it, whatever, I'm here. That's Goggins. In the dark room, you face yourself, you realize you want to be better, you realize you don't want to be this weak, insecure person in the world who has all these problems that we all have. We all have. Social media is a great platform to tell you who we want to be, not who we are. So that's where that dark room is.